I'm Jim McCrean, and we're in um, Sebastopol, California at switchvehicles.com. It's a, it's a new uh, electric vehicle company a startup, and we're, we're at the, you know, the prototype phase. We've been testing this machine for a couple of months now, and yeah, I built electric vehicles before. I, I started racing uh, Electrothon racing. It's an endurance electric vehicle race in 1990, and I wanted to build a company out of that, so I started Zap Zero Air Pollution in, in uh, Oakland, California in 1991. So I do have experience doing it again and I'm excited to be back into the, into the same business because things have changed now. Now uh, we've got batteries that are much better. In the, in the 90s, all that was available really was lead acid batteries. And so now we, we've got these nice lithium batteries and uh, a lot of choices in those, you know, between companies and different lithium battery technologies. So really, I'm really hopeful that electric vehicles are going to catch on this time, unlike in the 90s when, uh, you know, we, we kind of got started and, and uh, didn't really come, become a cross-cultural thing where electric vehicles were really available. Now it's, it's happening. Now they're available. Charging stations are going in lots of places, so we'll have, we'll have a practical electric, electric transportation is, is here and a lot more is coming on. This is a, a kit-built vehicle. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's home built, you can build it in your garage or you can have somebody else build it for you. It's um, something you can put together yourself, you can test it, change it, have fun with it. It's, it fits in with the, the maker philosophy. And we're in Sebastopol where Make Magazine's located and uh, I've been to uh, the first five maker fairs that were around and I've always been impressed with the, um, how much energy is out there to do it yourself to understand, you know, deeply what your machine is doing and to be able to modify and improve it. So what we've got is like a, a basic platform that can be modified, be, uh, you know, upgraded. You can run whatever battery or motor you want in it. And uh, um, what we're building is a, a safe platform for experimenters to, to use. Our development costs are, are so small compared to a, an auto manufacturer, meaning that we can we can build a new product, you know, for uh, a, a tiny, tiny fraction of what it costs a, uh, a car company to come out with something. We're using automotive parts, you know, all the wheels, brakes, suspension, all that's automotive parts, and um, so what we build is uh, all the pieces that go to complete that into a, a new kind of vehicle. It's a three-wheel vehicle, so it's it's licensed and insured as a motorcycle. So there's a lot of um, uh, cost savings there for the um, operation costs. And what people don't get yet, because most people don't have electric vehicles, is that their their operating and maintenance costs are so small. There's very little to to do on it. There, you, there's nothing to replace, you know, but the you know the tires and maybe the brakes every once in a while, and um, the um, you're not going to get. You're not going to have oil changes and transmission problems and and um, timing belt failures and all these things that are costing people so much to keep their their gas cars on the road. The other thing is it's a it's a sports car. It really, it's something to have fun in. The, the most basic form is very open, so the you know you're you're out in the in the wind, but you're also um, safe. You're also enclosed with a steel crash cage, you know, safety restraints. So you know it's it's quite different than a motorcycle. More like a Maybe like an old English sports car, like the MGs of the of the 50s and early 60s, where they're fun and they're light, and you know performance is good. Um, so that's that's the kind of uh, vehicle that we're trying to build, and we're trying to build with a new a new kind of company. We're we incorporated as a common good corporation, and um, we're really interested in in seeing how that can culturally expand, where um, the standard corporation model. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't lead to what we want to do. We, you know, what we want to do is have a lot of local activity, empo employ a lot of local people, uh, maybe be able to spread that model out um, to um, other communities, and, and uh, really be able to make a, 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 a social difference and uh, um, and have uh, broad participation. And we say like we're powered by. Hardworking American electrons. And it's like we don't have to go somewhere else for our fuel. Here in Sonoma County, we get almost all of our power from the, the geysers, which is a, a geothermal plant up on the mountain here. And um, you know, we we don't have to buy 
fuel from overseas to, to keep our vehicles going. If we if we have electric vehicles, solar panels, we have a great solar program going in Sonoma County, and uh, so I'm I'm a uh, you know if if we if enough of us did this, then we'd have a different world, and that's what we're looking for. Yeah, little steps at a time. I mean, we only do what we can do, and this is one thing I think I that I I figured I could do. It's something I you know. I know enough about this. I've been, I've done it before, so why not? Let's uh, let's do something you know that that'll last. And I think having this common good corporation is a stable a way of moving into the into the future and making uh, wise decisions for the long term, not for the short term. It, success is as dangerous as <laughs> as anything, you know. Self-funded to the to the point of today, but we have a lot of interest and a lot of local support. We're having serious conversations with interested parties uh, for further funding. Yeah, and that's what we need because we're, we're, now we're, we're getting into production. Right now what we're doing is, is tooling up to mass produce these kits. So we're not, we're not selling finished vehicles. We're selling the whole kits in, in big boxes. It'll be you know, delivered to your, your doorstep and you'll be able to assemble an electric vehicle from these parts. We figure in three years we should be in we should be able to meet market demand before that, meaning, you know, how many we can sell, we can build. Three years, yeah, three years. In three years, you could really get cranking on any kind of product, you know. Uh, and that's been my experience, that we can scale up quickly. As, as soon as we finish this testing cycle, then we gear up for production. We've got about three months of tooling to build the tooling, produce it. And then another three or four months, we'll get the first pre-production run out. So we're looking at 10 or 15 vehicles in the next four months after that. And then by then, we'll really know what we're building. We'll have tested different systems and uh, have a, a, you know, a, a, a number of them out there running. And um, then we start series production. So from there, we'll know exactly what we're building, what it costs us, what's going into it, what we can sell it for, um, what problems people have putting them together. By the end of next year, we should be in fairly high production. Driving it is really the experience. It is a machine, and it's a unique machine. Having three wheels, it's, it's really different. Somewhere between a motorcycle and a car. It's really fun to drive, and it feels really safe. And uh, I think people are going to fall in love with the experience of, of having it. You jump in and you jump out. It's really different. So, you know, that's, it's, an, uh, you know it's, it's new, something new.